again. Uh, I've gotten several requests on, not necessarily on, on how to sleeve uh, a 24 pin uh, cable, but actually how to remove the, the pins from the connector. Uh, also, uh, the six pin PCI Express connector uh, has the same pins as the 24 pin. So I think for demonstration purposes today, we're just gonna uh, show you how to remove the pins on the 24 pin connector. Uh, also, what I'd like to show you guys um, is how to remove the pins on the front panel connectors. Uh, those are gonna be different uh, than say a three pin fan connector and or the 24 pin or six pin connectors. So anyway, um, Sunbeam Tech does provide a tool to remove these pins. Um, I've used this to, to actually remove these pins and the request I've gotten has been, you know, not necessarily how to remove them with the tool, but how can I remove these without using that tool? So, you know, I did some thinking and, you know, the paper clip worked pretty good for the three pin fan connector. So I was thinking, well, maybe we can use a, a paper clip to remove these. So what I've done, I don't know if we can see this, but I've taken a paper clip and of course I've cut it in two different pieces. And I've actually taken it out in my garage and took a hammer and I flattened the end of that. Um, and then I took a file and I filed it so it's nice and, and straight. You actually have to flatten this enough so it gets fairly thin. Um, it took a couple tries at, at getting this to work, you know, work efficiently. If you, if you go too thin, then it bends on you and they just keep breaking. If you don't go thin enough, uh, they won't fit in to the, uh, you know, on either side of the, the pin. So what I've done, um, and if I can show you here on the 24 pin, is what you want to do is the, the clips that hold these pins in, are runs along the sides. There one, there's one on either side of the pin. So not the front and back, but along the sides. So what you need to do is you take a paper, paper clip that you have flattened, um, and I suggest, you know, file it down, because, you know, when you flatten it, you know, it's gonna, it's gonna expand on you. So you're gonna wanna file it down and make it nice and straight. And then you're gonna wanna stick it in alongside the pin I like to just get it in enough for it to get started. So about there. Then I take the other paper clip and I get it started on the other side. So, and then you just push these down. You don't want to put a lot of force on it. What I've found that works pretty good, because um, if you try to force this with your hand, sometimes it bends on you and you know you wouldn't want this to break off inside there. Um, and then you may have a difficult time trying to get the the remains of the uh, paper clip out. So anyway, I would take a needle nose pliers or a Leatherman and I would go ahead and push these down all the way. And once you get those down all the way, it should compress the two pins in there, or the two clips, and this should come right out. So that's the way I would do this if I don't have this tool. And actually, this tool is a little bit harder to use. Um, as you can see, it's, it's a one-piece unit, so once you get, let me pull that out, once you get one side started, it, it's hard to try to get the other side started. Um, there's very little room um, in between the housing and the pin itself. The thing about using this tool is you won't have to be too concerned that it's going to break on you and leave a piece of the, uh, you know, the tip in there. Using the paper clip will definitely work. Um, again, if you, uh, if you snap this off and it gets stuck in there, you're going to have a little bit of difficult time in uh, you know, getting that out. But, you know, it does work. And, in, and again, it actually works easier because this being be in two different pieces. It's easy to get one started and then get the other one in uh, without it being all attached to the same unit. So anyway, after I get that, uh, get that out, and in this case, I don't have to sleeve this cable. Uh, this is my 24 pin connector for uh, the build I'm doing now. It's the Ultra um, X3 1000 watt power supply. 
and they use a flex, flex force cable. <clears throat> so first of all, I've used this power supply. Um, we're going to see how this works. You know, I've got a lot of comments that, uh, you know, I should have probably gone with the Corsair. Uh, we're going to see how this one works. You know, I went with this for a particular reason. That is because it is 100% module. Um, the cables are all black. And I think they're going to, you know, they're going to hide the little bit of cables that will show in my case. Uh, they'll blend in with the, with the background so you won't see these. As you guys know, on a 24 pin, pin connector, even if you sleeve it, you know, you're only going to be able to come up so far um, with the sleeving. And then you're going to have, you know, your red and your green and your orange and your yellow and your black and, and all these different colors of cables sticking out. Um, so anyway, I, I chose to go with this, uh, this power supply for, for this reason. We're going to do a, a quick overview of this power supply before I install it. Um, we'll talk a little bit more about that. But anyway, let's go ahead and put this one back in. What I'd like to do is, um, is get these tabs that you've compressed and try to get these back out a little bit. You want to be careful there that you don't break those off. Um, you know, if you do, then you know, you're going to have to get yourself another pin and uh, you know reattach it. But anyway, then this one goes in, I believe, like this. Uh, this would be the bottom side. I don't know if you can see that, and that would be what I'm considering the top side. So, well, maybe it goes in this way. Yeah, so it goes in that way. All right, so we had that backwards. Um, you guys will figure it out. It only goes in one way, and it only, uh, you won't be able to push it in all the way if you have it upside down. So anyway, that's how you're gonna wanna do the 24 pin uh, connector, and the same thing with the six pin connector. Um, this one is just a uh, adapter that went with a, an older uh, power supply that I've had, and uh, you know, it works on this. I, I actually removed one of these, but because it's already sleeved, <coughs> it's very hard to try to get these out and put them back in. So that's why I'm not even gonna demonstrate with this one. Okay, now after that, uh, the front panel connectors. Um, these are a little...